Hello and welcome to my channel. Today's video we are going to be making these cute little pencils. I turned mine into little keychains. I think these would be adorable as end of the year gifts for teachers or classmates or a back to school little buddy you can hang on your backpack for your first day of school. And then I've also tested it out in the Bernat blanket yarn if you want to follow this exact same pattern and do it in the plushy yarn. This is a crochet along so I will be doing every stitch with you but if for some reason you get lost or I do something you don't understand there will be a 30 second drop down at the beginning of every row with the pattern instructions that you can refer back to. For this video, I will be using a number four yarn, a 4.25 millimeter hook, and eight millimeter safety eyes. The eyes I used on these two are six millimeters if you want to go a little smaller. If you are following along in the plushy yarn, I am using a number six yarn, a 5.5 hook, and 20 millimeter safety eyes. Don't forget if you enjoy my videos to hit the subscribe button. Not only does that help me out, but you will also be notified every time I load a new video. And I think that's everything. So grab your yarn and let's get started. We're going to begin with a ring or a loop, however you prefer to get started, as long as you have the same amount of stitches in the first row. And I just double mine over, tie a knot around my finger, and I leave that loop just hanging out at the end, just like you were gonna make a chain. Then you're gonna insert your hook Grab your yarn, pull through, and chain one. And that does not count as a stitch. That just attaches your yarn to your loop. And for round one, we're gonna do nine single crochets into the loop. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And then if you did like me, crochet over your tail and you can just pull that tail and it'll close up that little hole in the middle. Grab a stitch marker if you're using one. And for row two, you're going to do nine increases. So that's two single crochets in every stitch all the way around for a total of 18. So increase one and two in the same stitch increase three and four in the same stitch increase five and six increase seven and eight Increase nine and ten, increase 
11 and 12. Increase. 13 and 14. Increase. 15 and 16. And our last increase. 17 and 18. Rows three to five are just 18 single crochets all the way around. And I'm gonna do those consecutively. So that's three rows of 18, which is 54 stitches. And then I'm just gonna flip my marker every time I hit a set of 18. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, so that's your first row. Keep on counting. Whoops. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. So that's our second row. Keep on counting, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53 and our last stitch 54 we are just going to go in and pull up and we're not going to finish that stitch because we're going to change our color and i just i notice what i let this do it's it's curving in towards me and i am crocheting over on the back side if you end up with your project like this it's going to end out up inside out you want to flip it the other way so you're seeing these rows and all this stuff is on the inside and you're crocheting on this side of your project and not on this side of your project. Okay, grab your next color, um, the little metal piece. So you'll want some kind of gray. And we're just going to tie that on right by the hook close as you can get, nice and tight a couple of times. 
I usually do about three times. I can't remember if that's two or three. I think that's three. And then you can cut your pink or whatever eraser color you were using. And then you're just going to grab that new color, pull it through, and finish off that last single crochet of the row. And I'm going to try something a little different here. For these ones, I just went, kept straight on going after my color change and did my two rows of gray. But I am going to try going in the back loops and see if I can get those little ridges um, that the little metal cap has. So normally, if you want to do how I'm doing, normally you would go down um, through under both sides of the V of the stitch. For the back loop, you're going to go down between the V and come out the back, and it will create a little line as you go around. So we're going to start row um, six and seven, 18 single crochets all the way around. And if you're doing it my way, it'll be 18 single crochets in the back loops. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and eighteen. That was our first row, and we're going to do one more row, just that, like that. 18 single crochets all the way around. And I'm going to, I'm staying in the back loop. You do it however you decided for the first row. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, and 18. And now don't finish off that last stitch because we're going to change to our pencil color. So we're just going to tie that on like we did for our gray color change. Tie it a couple of times nice and close to the hook. And then you can cut your gray. And then grab your yellow and pull it through to finish off that last single crochet of the row. For rows eight, 
to 17. We're just going to do 18 single crochets all the way around. I'm going to grab my stitch marker. I mean my stitch row counter. And if you went in the back loops, um, do your first row here in the back loops and then switch to regular. So 18 single crochets. One, two, three, whoops, that's the one bad part about working with this sparkly yarn. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and eighteen. Oh, let's do it this way. So that was row eight. And now we're going to go back in the normal way if you were doing back loops. Another row of 18. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, that was row 9, next row of 18, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, so that was row 10, another row of 18, 1, 2, 3, 4, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 
11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. That was row 11. Another row of 18. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, that was row 12, 50-50% chance and I always pick it up upside down. Next row, 18 single crochets, one, two, three, four, whoops, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, 17, 18, and that was row 13, another row of 18, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, that's row 14, another row of 18, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, that was row 15, we should have two more rows left, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 
Another row of 18. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, that was row sixteen. And one more row of eighteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Sixteen, seventeen, and eighteen. And don't finish off that last stitch because we are going to attach the brown. But before we do that, I'm just going to cut this off and we'll put the face on. So you want to find kind of the back of your your guy down there as long as most of it's on the back then it doesn't really matter you basically just don't want to see this in the front all right so find approximately the center and you're gonna go four rows down so one two three four and just down in between the next two rows you're gonna go um, if this is your center, you're going to go two holes on this side and you're going to go two holes on this side. So about like that. And they can be wherever you want. Maybe those are a little close. And then if you're happy with where they are, actually, I might move mine over one. Yeah. Okay. And if you're happy with where they are, you're just going to put the backs on. Now that the sun's come out, I keep noticing how freckly my hands are and it's bugging me, but I'm trying to ignore it. <laughs> Can't change it. I think I do like how that went. So I'm glad I did that. Now you're going to grab your black or whatever color you're going to make his mouth. Thread your darning needle. And you're going to come up somewhere just inside a row or two under his eye. So I'm one, two rows from where I inserted the eye, but I'm one row from where his eye kind of sits. And I'm on the inside. Come out, leaving some thread for tying after. 
then come over and match that same stitch on the other side so I'm on the inside I'm in the same row now if you want a flat mouth or a straight mouth you're going to stop now if you want it to be a little pointed you're going to come up in the center but one row down can you see that little pin you're going to go under your yarn up and around pull it down and you're going to go back in that same that same place that you just came out of and that will pull his mouth down a little bit if you want it to be more of a v then you'll go down two rows instead of one i gotta get it straight here there we go and then you're just going to tie that on the inside i'm going to flip mine inside out to make it a little easier don't pull it too tight or you will wreck the shape you made for your mouth so loose ties and then slowly a little tighter as you go and then you're going to clip the extras and then grab a scrap of pink or whatever color you want to use if you're making cheeks and you're going to put those on your needle okay and i went up and down on those ones so let's should we go up and down Um, I'm gonna go to the side. Mm, yeah, I'm gonna go to the side on this one. So these ones, if you want to go up and down, you're just gonna go up on both sides, and I'm gonna go to the side on th on this one. So I'm just one stitch over from where I put my mouth. Leave a little bit of a thread for tying, and you're gonna go around here a couple of times. I'm going to do twice so on my second one in I'm going to go over to the other side and then I'm just going to do the exact same thing in again for one time whoops and then back in for twice and then I'm going to come out and we're going to tie that on the inside make sure when you tie this one that you're leaving a little bit of slack so when you stuff it it doesn't pull your cheeks all the way in so just kind of stick with the curve of the inside here and don't pull it too tight and then you're going to clip those Have a look, turning out super cute. Let me just clean up here a bit. And you're going to get your hook back in here if you have to. Just pull out your last stitch and redo it. So that's what I'm going to do. So this is stitch 17 I'm in, and I'm going to redo the beginning of stitch 18 so just like that and then I'm going to tie on my brown that I'm using for the wood of the pencil so just like all the other times nice and tight right where your hook is Sure we're going the right way here and then pull that brown through to finish off the last stitch of the last row and this time you're going to want to go in the back loops 
So for row 18, we're going to do 18 single crochets all the way around in the back loop. So remember, you're going down through the middle of that V and coming out to make your single crochets. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and eighteen. So you should have this little ridge going all the way around and my hope was to have these little things kind of look like pencil sharpener marks. So for row 19, you're going to do four single crochets, one decrease. Oops. Well, that was almost perfect timing. So row 19, four single crochets, one decrease. Repeat that all the way around for a total of 15. One, two, three, four, and a decrease for five, six, seven, eight, nine, and a decrease for 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and a decrease for 15. Let's do one more row and then we'll add our stuffing. So row 20 is going to be three single crochets, one decrease. Repeat that all the way around for a total of 12. So one, two, three, and a decrease for four. Five, six, seven, and a decrease for eight. Oops, I didn't catch all that. Nine. 10, 11, and a decrease for 12. So let's add a little bit of stuffing now. So you're just going to stuff it up little bits at a time and watch you don't hit that pink string for your cheeks as you're going up.
think it's about how much I'll put in now and we'll just add as we go over the next rows here I got my one eye twisted there we go all right so reinsert your hook and row 21 we're gonna do two single crochets one decrease repeat that all the way around for a total of nine and then we're gonna change colors so don't finish off that ninth stitch so one two and a decrease for three, four, five, and a decrease for six, oopsie. seven, eight, and our ninth stitch is a decrease, but we're just going to go in twice like we're going to decrease, and then we're going to leave it with the three loops on the hook so we can change to our um, pencil lead color, and we're just going to attach that like we attached all the rest, a couple of knots nice and tight against the hook. And then we're going to cut our brown. And grab that new color and pull it through to finish off that decrease. Now these last two rows are going to be a little tricky. Just take your time. And don't forget to add stuffing as you're going because you're going to go down to six and then you're going to go down to three and you won't, if you can get stuffing in when you're down that far, you're amazing. <laughs> um, okay, I think I'm overstuffing a bit and then I'm going to kind of smush it down my stitches. So row 22, you're going to do one single crochet, one decrease. Repeat that all the way around for six. So one decrease for two, three decrease for four, five and a decrease for six. Now this is where you're going to run into stuffing issues so if you can get a little bit more in there do that now and I had a viewer tell me about using scissors to add stuffing and it works amazing so if you have scissors handy just gently stuff it in there like that. And for row 23, we are going to have to try and get three decreases around. So our first decrease. Just watch what stitches you're going into. Our second decrease. Our 
And now our third and last decrease. And try and get in that last one. If you can't, you can't. There we go. And then you're just going to slip stitch in the next stitch. Sorry, I'm not really watching the camera on this row, so... I'm not even going up through. It's too tricky. I'm going to go to the side. And then just make that point and tie off. So I'm going to take my stitch marker out. And I'm just going to kind of push a little of that stuffing down into the tip if I can. Or very gently. I have a... A little metal needle. I'm going to try. Don't try a plastic one because you'll probably snap it. I'm going to very gently, gently try and push it a little bit into the point. And there we go. Let's close that up a bit if we can. Um, right here, if you made a messy little point, you can try and fix it. I'm not going to worry about what stitches I'm going in or nothing. I'm just going to try and make it a bit of a point. It's not, mine's not bad, actually, right now. So I think I might just leave it. Just go through a couple times. Make sure it's secure. If you need to knot it, give it a little knot. Make sure it's nice and tight to the pencil lead, though. And then just bring that in somewhere up and through. But be careful not to wreck your point as you're pulling it up. So it's kind of pinch it up here and then pull your, your knot down through. I still got that eye funny. And you're just going to clip that off. And then if you have some little keychains or something. Um, I don't even know what I have. It's been a while since I... So we got these. Um, you just want to get a little ring with it. And one of these. Or you can put this right on. You could put this right on. However you want to do it. I think I would actually maybe do the clippy with the chain and a ring and then get rid of this. Um, I'm not going to do that on camera because I always make a mess of it. Um, so, is that everything? So this is what it'll look like if you put a little ring on the key ring on there. So thanks for watching. Um, if you enjoyed my video, make sure you hit the um, subscribe button and you will be notified every time I load a new video as well. If you see anything in the background of any of my videos, there is a tutorial for everything. If you go to my channel and click videos, you can find it there. Hope you all have a great day. Stay safe and happy crocheting.